Hey boys and girls, alrighty, week 25, we are talking about Alabama's rivers and waterways. So this week we're going to talk about the major areas of agricultural production in Alabama, including the Black Belt and the Fertile River Valleys. So people have been using water for all kinds of things ever since there were people, really. Ever since humans appeared on Earth, water has been used for drinking, cleaning up, cooking, and for getting around. Getting around? What do I mean? Yes, getting around. In the early days, remember, people traveled by river on boats because it was much, much easier and much more reliable than taking chances on Alabama's uncharted land. Some comes from aquifers. We'll learn more about aquifers on Thursday. And some comes from drainage basins. A drainage basin is more or less of a ring of high places around a river, sort of like a big bowl. Any water that falls into the basin eventually drains into a river that runs through the basin's floor. There are 11 drainage basins in Alabama, one for each of our major rivers. So for a long time, the best roads in Alabama weren't actually roads, they were rivers. And it's no wonder since Alabama has more than 77,000 miles of rivers on which we get around. That's the same distance as three times around the world. Six of Alabama's rivers are wide enough and deep enough to float even very large boats. Where does all that water come from? So where is the nearest drainage basin? Well, look no further than that at where you're standing right now. Truth is, everyone in Alabama lives in one of our state's drainage basins. All right, guys, that is it for today. I will see you tomorrow for day two. Make sure you're doing your assignments.